Hey all, uh, I've decided to make a video today uh, about some of the issues we have coming through our range, our form issues. Uh, we have a couple of really, really common ones and I just thought I'd address it, uh, hopefully to give some beginners and even some intermediate archers a little bit more information on how they can improve their form. Uh, really, really basically, uh, today is all going to be about your bow hand grip. Uh, I, this is the most common problem I get through our range. It is phenomenal the amount of people that actually struggle with this. And there's one really, really easy way of fixing it and it will help you improve your accuracy so much. So it's definitely worth looking into and just practicing and playing around with a few things and having a crack. So here we go. I've got my wife's uh, compound bow with me today. It's got a nice narrow grip that most uh, new age compound bows are coming out with. Uh, this technique can be used obviously with recurves, long bows, and every other bow in between. It's just for demonstration purposes today. So there's two ways that people do the grip wrong for the most part. Uh, it's usually perpetrated by first of all beginners and then it's carried on later on in their shooting career uh when they've got a little bit of knowledge and they they get they hear some principles but they don't fully understand them so the first bad way that happened the first bad bad thing you can do with a bow when you're gripping is to grip the hell out of it choke the bow so this is what happens when people grip the bow they line it up with the center of their hand there they put it around the handle and they just grip it. And you can tell because their fingers go white, their knuckles go red, and they shake. They're out there like this. There's a couple of a couple of reasons it happens. Sometimes it's the poundage of the bow. It uh, might be too heavy for them. And other times it's just that they haven't been shown the correct way to hold a bow or use it. And we all got that. At the very start, when you start shooting, you, you struggle with it. It's not a natural movement, natural flow, like it is later on in your career. So that's the first one. They grip the absolute hell out of it. So it's bad for a couple of reasons. It's not lined up with your thumb muscles, so it puts your hand in the wrong position. Uh, you can catch string burn. Your accuracy is going to suffer downrange and a whole lot of other things in between. Now, later on in shooting, careers they uh, find out what talking the bow is which is what we're talking about so when you talk the bow it means that you're putting pressure on the bow and the arrow is then going to be moved left and right depending on if you're left or right handed and where the pressure is coming from and obviously when it's down range the arrows are going to impact left or right and that could cost you a 10 if you're a hunter that's obviously going that could cost you a heart shot for a back lung shot or anything you, you don't know it's just a really big dice game when you're talking your bow so they find out about talking their bow and the next thing they do is this they open their hand up so they've got it all the way back at full draw and you see this front hand you'll see it bow hunting magazines worldwide that their hand is open like this all fingers splayed out thumbs splayed out like that uh the only good thing about this is that it is in line with your thumb muscle usually that, that said the back of the bow is actually running where it should be now it looks good because you can't physically talk a bow when you're like that except for the fact that when you're at full draw and you're squeezing off that shot your brain automatically goes shit i'm going to drop the bow and it closes your hand like that and you see it, if you watch people on the range uh, who do this grip, I'll almost guarantee you, as they squeeze off that shot, they will grab the bow and it will talk it every single time. Uh, this is, so they're halfway there, which is good. Uh, I mean, they've got the idea that talking the bow can affect their accuracy. So the next thing you've got to do is look at it. Are you one of those two people? And can we improve it? Well, of course we can, we can definitely do that. So there's, a couple of correct ways, and you'll see Olympians use it, uh, national record holders, all the top end professional athletes and experienced archers will be using a form of this grip. And I like to teach one because it's uh, very, very simple and a lot of people can understand it. So the easiest way to do this grip correctly, to not talk your bow and improve your accuracy. You want to line the back of the handle up with your thumb muscle here. So it's going to sit in nice and deep. Hopefully you can see that. There, that's where we want it. Then what you're gonna do is take your thumb and you're gonna just put it lightly around in front of the bow like that. Then your index finger is gonna run down the center of the bow like that. So that's what the front of your grip's gonna look like. Then these three fingers get tucked behind your index finger, tucked off. They're not touching the handle at all. So that's what your grip's gonna look like. 
just like that. So when you're at full draw, your arm is bent, your hand's at a 45 degree angle, and it comes straight back. So this way, you're gonna avoid string burn because you've essentially made a triangle. So you've got your hand, your arm comes out like this, you got your shoulder, your back, and your bow arm in line with it. You can't hit it because the string is gonna come straight past there, your arm is there. First really good thing about that, no more bruises on your arm. Now, to see this, see this in action, it's actually quite impressive. I had a guy up uh, on my range that I was coaching a few weeks ago, and this is his target face, and I kept this for one specific reason. It is phenomenal how it actually changed. So here we go. When I, I let him do a couple of rounds all by himself, uh, just to see where he was at, and this is where he was grouping, this group right here, that there. Now, I noticed that he was doing the traditional open hand and then he would grab the bow, right? So this is why all these arrows were impacting here. He mentioned that he wanted to move his sight so he could hit the goal. And I said, well, let's just try something. I showed him the grip and I got him to do it. All of a sudden, he was impacting up here. If he hadn't moved the sight, he just started impacting up here. And we thought, oh, that's pretty good. Maybe, maybe we could move the sight. Then I noticed that his release wasn't quite, quite spot on. And he was still sort of applying pressure to the bow. He was rushing the shot. He was dropping his bow arm a little bit. And, you know, generally it just wasn't quite perfect. So we worked on his grip a little bit more. We worked on his release. And suddenly the arrow started impacting here, the bottom half of the bullseye. Not all the whole thing, just this bit here. Now, that's funny, right? He's got his grip down perfect. And then he started to drop his bow arm. And I asked him, are you sticking your pin dead center of the target and leaving it there? Are you holding it, trying to make sure it's dead steady? And he said, yes. I said, oh, well, that's, that's your last problem. That's all you've got to do is fix that. And he goes, what do you mean? I said, well, your muscles tense up. So you're trying to hold it dead steady. And if you've ever tried to hold a tensed position, especially an awkward one with a weight at the end of your arm, and hold something perfectly still it's really hard because your body's muscles aren't designed to do that they're designed to move contract so we got him to relax and then all of a sudden he started punching gold right there and you see how tight this guy's groups are the whole the whole way through his session tight groups and without moving a sight we got him from here to here didn't touch his sight at all and 90 percent of it was his grip so i really i really implore you all go out give it a shot see what you can do because changing that one little thing might, you know, add 50 points to your score just because you've got arrows going in straight to the board. Uh, so, yeah, let us know what you think in the feedback, any tips you've got yourself, and I'll be really, really happy to address any questions you may have. All right, thanks, guys.